6.30 at night um, and walking around, everything's still pretty lit and stores are still open. I feel fairly safe. Kolkata is nowhere near like Delhi or Mumbai where you're just, you feel the pressure of eyes and men's eyes on you. People are just kind of like, okay. <laughs> you know, I try to be safe walking down the streets and the alley, but sometimes I like to explore at night because at night, the city takes on a whole different vibe and a different, different appearance. I think right now Calcutta is absolutely electric and you can see that the city has definitely not gone to sleep. Workers are still working. And here we are back in my hotel. I'm staying at an awesome hotel. I want to say that it's a heritage hotel because it's got a great old ambassador type of feel. Uh, I paid around 930 rupees a night, or roughly around $14 USD. So this is a really cool hotel because it's very old and it's kind of almost like a landmark, I guess. Good evening. This is Mr. Dabali and yeah, he yeah. operates the elevator yeah, yeah. here in Broadway yeah. Hotel. Yeah. <laughs> okay. At first when I saw this hallway, I felt mixed feelings. I wasn't sure um, if it was shady or not. The electric from my room. So this is kind of like the ancient door lock. Um, we all love Indian doors. They, a lot of them use old padlocks. I guess that's why you'll see padlock dealers on the sidewalks. So you can lock it up there. Peace of mind, there are two bolts right there. My fan, that's a light. That's gonna be another, oh, there. Oh, sorry, my room is really messy because I just kind of scattered my stuff out and made myself feel like home because I'm gonna be here for like around five days. I extended my stay here for one more day because people were telling me that Calcutta was kind of scary, kind of like the armpit of India is the impression I was getting. But when I got here, oh my God, the people are so friendly and I love this hotel. The guys are nice, they're very helpful. Even if they seem short or like they might be crabby, they've actually been pretty nice and helpful for me. All my charging devices, shoo, and my lock. This is my outlet right here. Shoo. Um, you can get the two prong ones. It's ideal to get the three just because it's grounded. Uh, India has surge spikes. I've only brought one surge protector and it fits so loosely that I've just kind of stopped using it and I ended up using my tie my tie uh, adapter like this so this has been helpful and I just kind of like put it like that and then I'm pretty good to go but fingers crossed in, in when I first came I had the option of two rooms so the first room was great it was it felt larger I love the, the feeling of it Please check your belongings before leaving, so you don't forget. Um, it's kind of a nice room. I the fact that I have access or like a window going outside, even though you can't really see too much outside because of the bars. And the tree. I'm not sure what all of these things control, but they must control things that I probably won't touch. Um, but this. This is the outlet in India. If you can see, you don't need all four. It's really just a two prong and a three prong. Kind of like a palace to me. Unfortunately, and the guys warned me downstairs that it would be noisy and I'd probably want the back room. And I thought that I you know, could handle the noise because the room was so cute and eventually what happened was I couldn't handle the noise. So within like two or three hours, I kind of like asked them if I could change rooms and come back to this one. This one you can still hear the street noise outside but it's a lot more bearable. This is my bathroom. So my shower doesn't work and I haven't made an effort to correct the guys or let them know about that. So instead I'm using this and well, not quite that. I've done water pour um, bathing before, like where you pour the hot and the cold all over you. I've done that. I don't know if this has hot water, actually. I've been pretty much bathing in warm water. So I guess I should ask, but I've just been too lazy to. Um, 
And it's not been hot and sweaty at all, not like Bangkok. Oh my gosh, like in Bangkok I was getting like a sauna and a facial every day. But here in Kolkata, I kind of, it's kind of pleasantly cool and maybe I'm coming during the good season. In terms of location, it's been really helpful because it's actually really kind of in the heart of Kolkata and Chandachok station is right across the street. This isn't like the backpacker area or the touristy area. It's very kind of local, it feels very authentic and it's walking distance to a lot of sites that I want to see. Um, so it's super close to things. I can be independent and find things on my own. I've got you know the front desk people which have been all so helpful for me. Um, and yeah, and there's just street food stalls everywhere, like hawker stalls everywhere. I definitely feel like I like staying here and I feel safe. I would say Calcutta is my top favorite. Um, main city in India so far um, beats out Delhi which was ranking high for me and yeah I feel like it's a lot more of a chill environment so hopefully there'll be more videos like this uh, if you enjoyed it give me a thumbs up or a like subscribe to my channel let me know what you think about you know traveling in India or staying at hotels in India let me know in the comment section until then travel safe smart and fun and may the girl be with you